Hello. Today's easy walk is a different one. Today, I'm at the Magpie Mine. I don't think my walks are going to get much easier than this. Um, park up just at the end of the road. Nicely, uh, nicely textured road to walk along. And then within a minute, maybe last year there. Uh, so yeah, this, this definitely qualifies as an easy walk. Now, little uh, sort of stop offs like this aren't going to be your entire day. I think the idea of this kind of walk is to make it a stop off towards Buxton, towards Bakewell, towards Ashbourne, because it, it's pretty much in the center uh, of all of those. And it makes for a good little visit. It's interesting. I come here, do some photography, moody stuff works especially well here. Um, and I think other than absolutely torrential rain, you know, you could enjoy this visit in any weather. Now, hopefully what you're gonna get as I wander around this place is a decent voiceover uh, charting the history of the place and a little bit about lead mining as well. And what's even better, there's a, a chap, well, a few, a few people that uh, look after the mine and they come up volunteers, make sure everything's ship shape. Uh, wherever there's a renovation to do on the not historical buildings, they do that, but they leave the mine as is and it looks as though they're gonna, this is gonna stand for quite a while and other than making sure it's safe, they're gonna keep it as is they're not going to touch it up in any way and you're going to get the you know the sort of true historical feel of decay i kind of like that i think that's good you don't feel like you've been cheated with some make-believe bit of history information point this is definitely what we're after if you're all sitting comfortably let me tell you the story of magpie mine Magpie Mine is situated near the village of Sheldon, which is near to Bakewell in the Peak District. And it used to be a lead mine. There's uh, plenty of things to see here, the big chimneys, the ruined buildings. Of course, it's great for photography as well. And, you know, perhaps it wouldn't hurt to give the kids your phone and let them dash around, in, well, perhaps not dash around, but take some pictures. Now, it's easy to get to. There's parking just at the top of the road that leads into it. Uh, so you can just park up there. Uh, as usual with these places, I always say it, come early. And one of the things about this particular mine is it's got a dark history. And I'm gonna read this from the wiki page. In 1833, a bitter dispute led to three miners from the neighboring Maypit mine being suffocated by smoke from fires lit deliberately by miners from the Magpie mine. A murder trial followed, but all of the 24 suspected culprits were freed because they had been provoked. And it was also unclear which of them was actually responsible. That's pretty grim, isn't it? I guess the guys from the Magpie mine were not to be messed with. So there you have it, not my usual easy walk, not wandering through trees and by streams, rivers and brooks. This is a bit of history uh, out of brick. Uh, it's a cracking little place to come and visit. Uh, there's some great guys that look after it and I think it's nice thing to slot in during a trip. So if you're heading to Buxton, heading to Ashbourne, a anywhere around the peak, you're on your way to Mantor, you're gonna see Lunch Church. Why not uh, make a short stop and spend 20 minutes at the Magpie Mine. I think you will really like it. See you for the next one.